now I am going to brief you about available operators in Python and their functions with examples here is a quick overview of the available operators first one is plus this one adds two objects 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and next one is minus or subtract okay this gives the subtraction of one number from the other if the first operand is absent then it is assumed to be as 0 so let's suppose 5 minus 3 the output is 2 and we can see that uh, I will replace this minus 5.2 this is the negative number by including minus sign and if we subtract 50 minus let's suppose 23 then it would be equal to 27 and let's suppose we include this one this would be equal to minus 73 and next one is multiply so this gives the multiplication of the two numbers or returns the string repeat it that many times let's suppose we are going to multiply 2 by 8 and it gives us 16 and I will replace this with uh, let's suppose Los Angeles multiplied by 3 so you can see that LA LA and LA similarly Washington DC multiplied by 5 so you can see that Washington DC this is 5 times the output is 5 times Washington DC and the next one is power so this returns x to the power of y we can check this out 3 power 4 this will give 81 so it would be equal to this would be equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 so next one is divide and we will divide x by y let's suppose 13 divided by 3 this gives us a floating point number and in the next example we will divide and floor values floor so we can divide x by y and round the answer down to the nearest integer value note that if one of the values is a float you will get back a float 13 this is uh, done with this symbol this will give answer 4 and next let's pose uh, minus 13 floor 3 this will give minus 5 and next one is let's suppose 9 and 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 1.81 so let's see what happens I guess it will uh, give value as 4 as 1.81 is equal to 2 so you can see that it will give 4.0 and here I am going to tell you about Mariolo so it will return the remainder of the division let's suppose 13 modulus operator 3 so it will give 1 
one is the answer output let's suppose uh, I'm going to change this with the minus uh, let's suppose 25 uh, 25.5 and I will divide this with uh, uh, 2.25 uh, I guess let's check this will give 1.5 here we will use left shift and this will shift the bits of the number to the left by the number of bits specified and each number is represented in memory by bits or binary digits 0 and 1 so 2 this is the symbol of left shift this will give 8 this is represented by this one and left shifting by 2 bits gives us 1000 which represents the decimal 8 and next one is right shift this will shift the bits of the number to the right by the number of bits specified we have specified this with 11 this will give 5 11 is represented in bits by 1011 and which when right shifted by one bit gives 101 which is the decimal 5 and bitwise uh, next one is bitwise and bitwise and bitwise and bitwise and of the numbers is if both bits are 1 the result is 1 otherwise it's 0 so let's check it out 5 and 3 this will give 1 I guess yes and let's suppose I am going to change this with 0 1 and 0 1 okay and let's suppose double zero one one and uh, sorry here it is error leading the decimal integer literals are not permitted next I will discuss bitwise or bitwise or of the numbers represents if both bits are 0 the result is 0 otherwise it is 1 and it is represented by uh, where is the symbol okay here it is this will give 7 and bitwise XOR next one is and we represent bitwise XOR with the carrot sign bitwise XOR of the numbers is if both bits 1 or 0 or the same the result is 0 otherwise it is 1 so 5 carat 3 will give 6 and next I will tell you about bitwise invert the bitwise inversion of x is minus x plus 1 so minus <laughs> 5 minus 6 its value and in the end I will discuss about less than 
greater than less than sign so less than and it is represented by this symbol 5 less than 3 this will give us false and if we change the values 3 is less than 5 it will give us true so this operator returns whether x is less than y all comparison operators return true or false note the capitalization of these names comparisons can be chained arbitrarily also let's suppose 3 less than 5 and this is less than 7 this is true and let's suppose uh, we include 6 here sorry 4 here and this would be equal to false next similarly we can do this with the uh, greater than sign that would be equal to false 5 is greater than 4 is greater than 1 that would be equal to true so in this example we have learned about greater than symbol next we will discuss about less than or equal to or equal to it returns whether x is less than or equal to y so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 and x is less than equal to y it will return true and next we will discuss about greater than or equal to greater than or equal to i will replace this with the new code we will write x is equal to 4 and uh, I will include y is equal to 3 and x is greater than equal to let's suppose 3 so it will return true and next one is equal to equal to it will compare if the objects are equal let's suppose x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 and we will check whether x is equal to y it will return true similarly x is equal to str string and y is equal to here we will check str we will check whether this is equal to or not so you can see that it is false let's suppose we change this with s and this one with the capital it will also be equal to false the next one is equal to not equal to so the symbol of this one is here i will write this into comment so it compares if the objects are not equal x is equal to 2 or let's suppose 3 x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and x is not equal to y it has returned true let's suppose i change this with 2 it will return false and in the next cell I am going to show you not boolean not if x is true then it returns false if x is false then it returns true so x is equal to true and not x will return 
false and our next one is and this is boolean and x and y returns false if x is false else it returns evaluation of y x is equal to false and y is equal to true and next x and y it has returned false in this case python will not evaluate y since it knows that the left hand side of the and expression is false you can see that it's false. so it will not evaluate this and expression is false here so here which implies that the whole expression will be as false so it will not go to this y irrespective of the other values are true this is called short circuit evaluation and let's suppose we change this to true then it then it will go to the next step and in the end i am going to elaborate boolean or boolean or if x is true it returns true else it returns evaluation of y so x is equal to true and y is equal to let's suppose false and x or y it will return true so short circuit evaluation applies here as well as we have seen that this one is true and the other one is false and the symbol used between them is or the operator is boolean or so this was all about operators in python and their functions that they perform in python programming language and it was a lengthy lecture and i will ask you to practice this on jupyter notebook or online python editor